hello and welcome back to my channel i am so excited to finally get this nail look out i've been waiting to post it on instagram so i can have the video ready for you guys so if you're interested to see how i did this poly gel coffin nail look just stay tuned So today I'm using Savvyland Glitter Poly Gel as well as a soft white poly gel I believe I got from AliExpress. Now my nails are already prepped with base coat before I started this application. If you guys would like a prep video, I can do a separate one, but I didn't want to make this video too long. So we're just going straight in with the poly gel application. Now, generally, I would do the lazy girl method that some people call it, where you just put the gel into the tip and then you put the tip on your nail. Sometimes I would just leave that tip on there and file it, but because I'm going to be starting acrylic soon, I figured I would start a little practice with the poly gel and laying it in there. So that's why we're doing it this way today. It actually worked out pretty well, so I'm kind of excited to see what it's going to be like doing the acrylics. But the poly gel for now is definitely an easier alternative. So as you can see, I'm just going in and I'm using alcohol as a slip solution, but you're basically just patting that gel down until it covers the entire nail and the tip, and then you cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Attempting to ombre this poly gel from the white to the glitter, I'm still learning how to master that with poly gel. It's a little more difficult because once you ombre it on that first level, adding that second poly gel in while it's still white, it kind of just mashes up. So you kind of have to blend it together, but we kind of made it work. I'm still working on that, so I'll definitely be practicing. And now we are on to that thumb. Once that is covered, we're gonna cure it. I'm gonna do my left hand off camera and then we'll come back to shape. Mm -hmm. 
Now here I'm just going in with my 100, 180 nail file. Generally I do hand file when I do poly gel nails just because with at least the drill bits that I have, they tend to be a little rough and they can rip up all of the gel that you just laid down. So I just go in with the hand file and make sure I shape them up really nice. Now here comes the fun part, adding our bling, y'all. So I just got some rhinestones from Amazon as well as this rhinestone glue. And I'm just gonna go in and paint a little on the nails that I want some rhinestones. And once I get those on, I'm gonna cure them in my lamp for at least three minutes. This gel glue does take a little bit of time to dry. Keep in mind, you also want to put your rhinestones on before any top coat, at least in my opinion. This allows the rhinestones to stick a little better. Once you add that top coat, it kind of just floods between all the rhinestones. So when you cure it, they set right in there. They're not going anywhere. And of course, to finish off, we're gonna go in with our no wipe top coat. And y'all know me, I'm going in with two layers, curing twice, and then letting it sit on the low 99 second setting for that extra shine. So if you're still with me at this point, I just want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you have any designs or any trends with nails that you would like to see me try, definitely leave a comment or hit me up on social media. I'm open to try a lot of things, um, especially with getting into these nails and not going to the salon right now. As well, if you have any nail needs or would like some custom press-ons, take a look at naturallypress.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description box, uh, but we do custom press-on nails. So if you're working in a job where you can't wear long nails or you just are someone who likes the flexibility of not having acrylics all the time, you can hop right on over to naturallypress.com and get yourself a set of custom press-on nails. So this was the end result, guys. I was so happy with it. Those rhinestones matched the glitter in the poly gel so perfect. It just set it right off. If you enjoyed this look, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And of course, follow us on social media where I will take DMs for any ideas or trends that you might want to see me try. Thank you guys again for watching.